Scott did a thing last year. Steve is up to his old tricks, and KJ, welcome back. Let's go. Go. Balls. Deep. I love seeing champions champ. So first up, we're going to talk about this guy. Now, Scott, he did a little thing last year. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. Scott! Oh. He went and took Lamar Jackson in the first round, the fifth pick, right before I could supposedly snag him. Now, people thought I freaked out. And I assure you, it looked nothing like this. Like, their imagination went a little wild. It was more like this. that there was some big beer shower or something, but none of that happened. I was basically playing uh, 4D chess, and he fell right into it. It's a trap. Now, many of you know who this is, but probably none of you have had him on your team, because Wasman has had him almost every single year. He's a 12th pick, 15th pick, 14th pick, 15th pick, 22nd pick, 53rd pick, and I guarantee you, he'll be on Wasman's team again because, you know, like an obsession, he just can't not have him. Precious. Ah, welcome KJ back into the league, and uh, he's back, and the Steelers got a rookie running back, which uh, I think is going to be very hard for him to uh, not take in the first or second round. Here's uh, him and Big Ben uh, bragging about how many chicks they slayed in college. Yeah, get them drunk and take them to the bathroom stall. It's, uh, that's how I do it. Is that the way the kids still do it these days? Anyway, the chances of him not being on uh, KJ's team is about... Uh, zero point zero. Yes. Yes. Yes! Come to Papa! Now, most of you think that a new fantasy season means I could restart, I get a second chance. Uh, it's not going to happen that way, but I guarantee you that uh, it's pretty much, for most of you, going to go down exactly like this.